The Consumer Electronics Show, or CES as it's known, wrapped up on Friday after a week of eye-popping unveilings, including the new LG TV with a 65-inch rollable it. screen, wow. 8K TVs, whatever those are, futuristic <laughs> cars, and a whole lot more. CES is a place where the future of tech is discussed and displayed. Wired recently published its best of CES 2019, and here with some of the highlights is editor-in-chief and CBS News contributor, Nicholas Thompson, what happened in Vegas ain't staying in Vegas. Yeah, why would he be talking about it? That <laughs> week there was great. <laughs> he brought toys. Yeah, yeah. he did. Give us the takeaway. What, what's your takeaway? I did there? not bring the robot taxi, though. The uh, helicopter yeah. taxi, I'm sorry to say. How about a rollable TV screen? Yeah, though? I love that. No, the robot, they're, they're not, they don't totally work, the rollable TV screens, but they will, and they'll be very functional. You can put them in new places. What about privacy? Privacy? Yeah. Well, that's one of the interesting things about CES. Like, CES is all about optimism, excitement, invention. Yep. Meanwhile, the country, when it thinks about tech, has been having these conversations about privacy invasions and the tech lash. And what was interesting to me is I really thought this would be the first CES I went to where everybody would be talking about privacy. And all these devices would be introduced and they wouldn't upload your contacts or they'd let you cover up the camera. And then the first booth I go to, <laughs> it's a place where they videotape your baby to see whether they're asleep and they sell the data, oh right? My gosh. And, so, this, and so this is this. There this, was just no talk of privacy. It just so wasn't there. Let's let's get to these products. So let's start okay. with Tito Care, uh, which we have here on set. Yes. Yeah, so Tito Care was one of the new devices that we named in our best of CES at Wired. It's a home medical device for when your kid is sick, right? Because when your kid is sick, you don't want to go to the doctor because they're going to just lick all the other stuff touched by all the other sick toys, and yes. they're probably going to get sicker. So it's a little device. And what you do is you take this and you plug, like, well, it creates a call with a doctor. Yep. You plug, say, the ear thing in if your oh, kid wow. has a Oh, wow. Oh, ear. you drop something. So you can literally do, like, ear. a checkup right. over this thing. And the doctor, doctor can then see in the ear. The doctor has, there's a stethoscope. There's <gasps> so a tongue depressor. Meaningful. And so then you can have that preliminary conversation with your doctor and oh. figure out whether you actually need to go into the hospital Huge or wherever relief. you need to go. And most of the time, as everybody as kids knows, what you do is you give them some water, stay home, and take a nap. And now also I see YubiKey there. Yeah, so this is two-factor authentication, which is something we at Wired care a ton about, which is what you do is when you log into something, you not only have your password, but you also have a physical device that you plug in. You okay. plug your keychain with one of these into your laptop, right? That's been a big security improvement over the last couple years. What happened at CES is it finally now works with iPhones. Ah. YubiKey, which does all this. It's been hard because if you can't have a YubiKey that works with everything you have, then What's suddenly the point, become right? less secure all the way around. So this was a big improvement and something we were very excited about. Otter and Pop is the other one that we've got here? We don't have that, we don't have that oh, one on set. One. So that's ah. a pop socket, right? So we have two things we like to put on our phones, right? We like to put cases so they don't crack. And some of us like pop sockets, oh, right? So you can that. hold onto them on the back and do your selfies. But the problem with the pop socket is it sticks out and makes your phone uncomfortable. Yeah, that's why I don't have one. Yeah, so Otter <laughs> built a case where the pop socket is built into the case. Uh, How about clever that? Phone. It's like such a smart, clever thing. I so will get one. We were pumped <laughs> about cool. that. Very cool Wired. stuff and more cool highlights in Wired Magazine. Nick Thompson, thank you so much. So many.